For today's video, we will feature the Visayan woman known as Visayan Joan of Arc, and the first and only woman lead of troops in Visayas during the revolution. But before we start, if you like this kind of content that looks back on the bravery of the Filipino, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow my Facebook page. Let's go! Teresa Magbanua Y. Ferraris Born on October 13, 1868, Andied August 1947, better known as Teresa Magbanua and dubbed as the Visayan Joan of Arc, was a Filipino schoolteacher and military leader. Born in Pototon, Iloilo, Philippines. She retired from education and became a housewife shortly after her marriage to Alejandro Balderas, a wealthy landowner from Serra, Iloilo. In the year 1896, the Philippine Revolution against Spain broke out, Teresa became one of only a few women to join the Panay-based Visayan arm of the Katipunan. The Katipunan that time was initially secret revolutionary society headed by Andres Bonifacio. Despite opposition from her husband to join the revolution, Teresa persuaded her uncle, General Perfecto Poblador, to let her join the Katipunan's women's chapter in Panay as an experienced horse rider and marksman. The general agreed, making Magbanua the first and only woman to lead troops in the Visayas during the revolution. Teresa patriotic spirit helped her successfully lead a group of be on the lookout troops during the Battle of Barrio Yoding and the Battle of Sapong Hills, which were instrumental to the liberation of Iloilo City. Later on, she joined the guerrilla forces in fighting against the Americans in Jero, Iloilo. She continued to fight for the country's independence until the Japanese occupation, when she sold all her belongings to help fund the guerrilla movement. Before we continue, if you like our hero today, you can comment, yes. Thanks a lot. Let's continue. Magbanua is one of the few Filipinos to have participated in all three resistance movements against the three major colonizers. Which are Spain, in the Philippine Revolution. The United States, in the Philippine-American War. And Japan, in World War II. After the end of World War II and lived there with her sister Maria Magbanua in Pagadien City, Sambuanga del Sur in western Mindanao. She never remarried after her husband Baldara's death, and their marriage produced no children. Magbanua died on an unknown date in August 1947. Her burial was attended only by her close friends, and there were no announcements made of her death at the time. Teresa was not even that well known as her brothers, but she was recognized for her courage and services. There are streets named after Teresa Magbanua in Pototon, Iloilo City. Several awards are also given out in her name, including the Gawad Teresa Magbanua Award given to teachers in Davao, and the Teresa Magbanua Award for Women's and Children's Rights given to Ilongos in Iloilo. October 13th is the date given as an official Teresa Magbanua Day in Pototon. It was first observed in 2006. And a new Philippine Coast Guard 97-meter vessel was named after her, the BRP Teresa Magbanua. That's it for today's video, I hope you like it. Goodbye and God bless.